Hello again, Jules fans. Welcome back to Jules in the Blood TV for our latest episode. It is Monday review time, and what a Monday review this is. Looking back at Saturday's historic, wonderful, magical, nerve-wracking, nerve-jangling, epic, immense... Was that enough adjectives? 1-0 win over Premier League Cardiff that saw us advance to the fourth round of the FA Cup for the first time since 2004. We are in the hat for tonight's draw. Ball number three it will be. Uh, but before we go on and have a look back at the game in more detail, let's have another look at that moment on Saturday. <laughs> That is, of course, Elliot List's uh, strike late on, 81st minute into the roof of the net at a rain end, which saw us see off our Welsh opponents and my reaction along with Stocky, which um, led me to hit high notes that I never knew I could imagine. Um, a brilliant day, like we already said on the match day live. Nerve uh, jangling at the end with all that injury time. Uh, but what a performance from our boys. Um, we've got the Medway Messenger. Main headline on the back page today is... Who next for Jill's? Um, excellent picture of Mark Byrne on the back celebrating at the end. Gillingham eyeing up the big guns following Saturday's memorable FA Cup win. The Jill's knocked out Premier League side Cardiff thanks to Elliot List late goal at Priestfield in the third round. Uh, Steve Lovell speaking about the draw. It will be excited now to look forward to the draw and see who we get. Whoever it is, it doesn't matter. We will give it everything again. It's a great competition. One I have loved playing in and at the moment I love managing in. And then he's nicked my phrase, long may it continue. Uh, <laughs> from a club's perspective and a financial one, one of the big boys away would be fantastic, but I can't lie, we would all love to go to a big stadium, but a Premier League club at home would be brilliant. Uh, either or for me, if it's a massive one, home or away, it's going to be exciting. The likes of, of Tottenham are in there, Arsenal are in there, both Manchester clubs are in there, Arsenal are in there, Chelsea are in there, Liverpool will be in there if they see off Wolves tonight. Um, so it could be an exciting draw, and fingers crossed that we can get a big one. Inside um, the Medway Messenger match report, um, Luke Cordell's last paragraph, as always, Riley hit the bar for Jules in the last minute, and Patterson headed just over for the visitors during more than seven minutes of injury time. But List's goal proved crucial, as most of the 7,000 strong crowd were left to savour a memorable Priestfield experience. Weren't we just... Uh, we were epic. We were immense to a man. Um, absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you go through players uh, individually, um, Luke's given everyone pretty much eights and seven. He's given all eights apart from Mark Byrne, Callum Riley, Josh Parker and Tom Eves, and they've all got sevens. I don't think we were lower than 7.5 in our match ratings, and that was Josh Parker, and, and by no means was he poor. He had, like we said, he just had two funny periods where he gave the ball away, but aside from that, he was excellent. He should have scored. Um, but yeah, we were absolutely first class, all 11 of them, only 11 because we didn't make a change, which at the time I wasn't sure was the right decision, but then we scored and fair play to them, 11, they earned the right to be out there till the end, so an absolutely magical afternoon, um, the right result, um, and another a very good FA Cup day for Jules, we do, we do tend to have them when we get to this stage, I've already said that, we, this, this competition is kind to us when we get to the third round, it doesn't happen a lot but you save them more when they're not that regular. Um, Thomas Holy, three really good saves that I can remember he made. Uh, the one-on-one -on -one with the left-back first half, and then the one that he stood up and shoveled around the post shortly after. Um, he got out to block one second half. Um, couldn't do anything about... Um, I forgot the fella's name. Mendes Lang, Ruben Mendes Lang. He shot that thudded off the bar, but he probably earned a bit of luck with that. Um, Defensively, we've already said Alex Lacey, Conor Ogilvy, Gabriel Zaquani were all immense. I think Lacey and Conor Ogilvy probably had their best performances in a dual shirt. Um, both wing-backs were superb up and down the entire game. Dangerous in wide areas. If you think Luke Neal put cross after cross into the box, we should have scored from one when Josh Parker somehow managed to scoop it over from no more than five yards. From the other side, Bradley Garmston's delivery was excellent again. Tom Eves should perhaps have scored first half when he headed over when he was unmarked. Um, defensively, they were both brilliant. In the middle, Mark Byrne 
player of the year type performance from him. That's what we got consistently last season. Um, Callum Riley grew into it and just got better and better. Was unlucky at the end when he thudded one off the crossbar. Um, I've already said about Josh Parker. Uh, Tom Eaves ran himself to an absolute standstill. Um, didn't let their centre-halves have a moment's peace. And looking at the goal, he, he competes with Sean Morrison, their captain. And... Uh, it looked to me like Morrison swung an elbow and then hit the deck and was complaining of a foul. But Tommy just got on with it, cut back. And in fairness to Bradley Garmston, we said during the game that it looked like he'd had a big shot at it and missed it completely. But looking at the highlights, uh, fair play Bradley, it looks like you've stepped out of the way on purpose. And from there, Elliot List does brilliant. As a touch, composes himself straight down the middle. Don't know whether he's done the keeper with the eyes because looking at that from behind, um, behind Elliot on the highlights, I'm not sure where the keeper's going, but who cares? Who cares? Um, it hit the net. Priestfield was at its best. Absolute best. Uh, Rain amend from start to finish. Singing, con uh, uh, blah, 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 cheering us on. Um, one of the best atmospheres been in there for a long time. And, and it'd be great if we can get that on a more consistent basis. If we do get a big gun at home in the next round, it'd be nice to have another couple of thousand in there as well. But like Stocky said on the match day live, it was great to come out of the ground, voice hurting, squeaking, croaking from all the singing and... Just a really, really good day. Um, in terms of national coverage, there's been plenty. I love looking at my little um, TV programmes that I've got recorded on my BT box at the moment because the Match of the Day one's got a picture of us. Uh, national headlines in all the papers. This is uh, Sunday Mirror pull out yesterday. Jules allowed. But it's all gone quiet in Cardiff. Neil Warnock moaning and whinging, bless him, like he likes to do. Blames everyone but himself. Uh, football League paper which likes to cover everything bundle on the front page absolutely brilliant shot inside Lists Belter has jewels in Dreamland a picture of Mark Byrne trying to ride Elliot List bareback as he tries to run off and celebrate what else have we got the pictures in the Medway Messenger excellent Daily Telegraph proper newspaper this probably won't even fit it in there we go glorious jewels absolutely love that picture of Bradley Garmston um, He's taken a lot of stick off fans this season, I think, and I think a lot of it's been unfair. But he was absolutely immaculate at the weekend, and the joy on his face, I think, was matched by probably 6,300 plus of, of us Gillingham fans. But the one picture that sums it up brilliant for me is if I can get it on shot, is this one of Elliot List inside, right at the bottom of a bundle. Not sure whether he's in pain or laughing or crying or doing what, but. It was one hell of a bundle. There was a few bundles in the rain of end as well. People hugging and high-fiving and whatever with people they don't even know. A magical day, magical atmosphere, magical result. List seals upset as Warnock rules missed opportunities. Yes, Cardiff did have much and more of the ball. That's understandable. They're a Premier League team. Um, but we weren't without our chances. Um, Elliot List, first couple of minutes, went through and the ball got stuck under his feet and his time effort went through to the keeper. Um, Tom Eaves perhaps should score end of the first half when he heads it over. So that's two. Josh Parker, absolute sitter. That's three good chances. Elliot List scored. That's four. Um, Luke O'Neill dragged one just wide. That's five. And then Callum Riley's deflected shot come off the crossbar in injury time. So that's six really good chances. Um, in terms of clear-cut ones for them, first half, Thomas Holy made two good saves. Um, he made another good one and managed to get it around the post with the help of Gabriel Zaquani in the second half. So that's three good chances. Ruben Mendes laying it at the bar, so that's four clear-cut chances. But I think we earned our luck. We deserved that because we jumped in front of everything. There was blocks, there was tackles, there was headers. We competed in it for everything in every area of the pitch. Um, and for me, we were well worth the win and the upset. Um, draw for the next round is this evening, but it's not till late, unfortunately. I was hoping to do this video and incorporate a cup reaction into it, but it's not till 10 o'clock, apparently. So we shall await that with bated breath after the Liverpool Wolves game. And fingers crossed we can get another plum draw in the fourth round. Um, but yeah, just a brilliant, brilliant weekend, a brilliant atmosphere, a brilliant performance, and almost a throwback to how Gillingham used to be. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Please keep commenting down below in the box. Tell us who you want in the next round. Tell us what you think of the performance again. Um, please keep liking, sharing, retweeting, subscribing. 969 on the channel now. We are getting close. We're only 31 away from the magical 1,000. Um, be back later in the week for a match preview of...
of Burton away, I believe, and um, some cup reaction. And as always, until next time, up the jewels.